Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. This is this is uh, the Tribe Week mm -hmm. within Rex Month, mm -hmm. and and Daniel, again it, it, within Tribe Week. Mm -hmm. This is for the people, for the community. We're choosing a distillery. Okay. And we're choosing multiple expressions, as many as we have in this room, from a particular distillery, and then comparing those back to back. And yeah. and to prove that this isn't just about me mooching. That's not what this is at all. At all, Daniel. To prove this is for the people. We're gonna do rye. Rye. We're okay. doing rye. This is the, all right. I suffer for the community. So we're doing really, rye. Rye's not my favorite in the world, but for people that like the rye, we're gonna do this for you. All right. There's really only one distillery that has a significant amount of rye. Okay. And that's Wiggle. <laughs> you son of a bitch. There's really yeah. only one. Wait. Thanks to Kurt Miller. <laughs> we start the video. Level three song. Change of plans. We yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. So Wiggle makes some things I really like. It's, 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 I think it's the bourbon though, right? I really like the bourbon. You like their bourbon. We could just do Wiggle in general. So, well, I mean, does how many rides does Wiggle have? Because there's one that just has a problem. Well, we've got like three or four. Does not like me. We got three or four. People who do rye don't do massive expressions of rye. You know why? That's the thing is, it's because they had the same opinion of rye as we do. No, American distilleries don't do the same thing that Scottish distilleries do. Okay. Scottish distilleries say we make, you know, uh, Lafroy or Buna Haven. Right. Here's our nine different variations of all these. Really? I had a lot of whiskey in the first episode. Wow. They don't do that. In America, they tend to decide every time they release a new thing, it's a new brand. Yeah. Right? And so it's like, oh, here's our bourbon, but let's do a malt. Oh, here's our malt brand. Let's do a rye. Here's our rye. Right. Right? They don't do, like, distiller expressions, partially because in, they, Americans are allowed to do all these random different things, whereas in Scotland, you've got a lot more limitations. I understand. And I'm already regretting. Or we just do a whole bunch of ryes. We don't stick to a distillery. We're not doing a distillery expression tour in the process of you servicing me. Yes. If I said, Daniel, find me a rye mm -hmm. that's worth ryeing. I would have no idea. Okay. Because I don't know. Kurt would need to be so here. I'm because taking, he's the rye guy. I'm taking off the handcuffs. Okay. Taking off the handcuffs. Most ryes, if I'm being nice, I'm saying I'm on the fence. Okay. Some ryes are really nice. But most of them was like, eh. It, they're going to be pretty far down on the list if I have options. Let's start with the Wiggle Rye. Okay. And this is just the classic wait, Wiggle wait, Rye wait, wait. Are you, expression. Are you participating? No. Then we're going to move to Hudson's Manhattan Rye from New York. Yeah. And then we're going to try... I think an intern... The one that everyone always freaks out about, which is Dad's Hat. I think Only it, we're going to go cask strength. I think an intern dropped a gym sock. In that one? In the still. Yeah, that's the wiggle. Okay, and then we're gonna go... Man. Ranger Creek. For... This is what it is. No, actually we're gonna do Michter's Rye. Well, it's just not for me, man. It's a funky adventure. No, that's the tip. I, I don't like the adventure. It is, what immediately comes to mind is, there's a, an old strip mall that's been around since like the 1980s. And it's run down and it hardly has any business. Half the places aren't even, they don't even have a business, it's just vacant. And behind the strip mall is a is a puddle because the park the parking lot's all worn out. It's got like potholes in it. There's this pothole that's been collecting rainwater and runoff from the from the yard. <laughs> Right, and the yard is just all patchy and dirty, and it's got weeds Let's in there. Let's Wiggle doesn't watch this video. And then, if I were just to start drinking out of that pothole, that would be the Wiggle Rye for me. I just, this is the, the second or third time I've tried it. I don't like it, man. It, you know, the, 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 the word that comes to mind for me, it is aggressively stale. Yep. Aggressively stale. So this is from Tuttletown. This is Hudson Manhattan Rye Whiskey. This some, is Ralph's Whiskey. Some people may adore that, but it's going to be, I think it's one of these whiskeys that you're going to love or hate. There's not a lot mm -hmm. of people who are like, yeah, it's okay, I guess. Like, no, you're going to have a strong opinion about that rye. So this is Ralph from Tuttle, Tuttletown Spirits. Oh, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah. And let's compare it to another one that Kurt loves to rave about, which is Dad's Hat. Mm. We are going to go cask strength, which means immediately it's going to be jumping up a little bit. Oh. 
I'm just trying to help you out, Rex. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this reminds so this is I think what's happening is have you ever seen a Superman comic where there was this parasite that was was sucking off all of Superman's powers? Yeah. <laughs> and then finally Superman goes, You want my power? Take all of the power. <laughs> yeah. And then like this parasite explodes. I feel like you're throwing all the power at me. Trying to get me. I'm just trying to service you, so I'm trying to get what, me to buckle. I don't to, know what's going on. To cry uncle. You start I don't know what you're talking about. Task strength. How many samplings have I had at this point? Uh, probably 14. 14. <laughs> this one's going to need to go home immediately after shooting. That is a cask. Yeah. Super spicy. Mm hmm. That rice spice. And then I get a lot more barrel out of this than I typically get from rice. Wow, that's some weird. Candy caney kind of sweetness. I don't often find prominent barrel notes in rye, and maybe at cask strength, Here. maybe the barrel note is one of the first notes to get proof down. All right, try that once again. Once you start dropping it. You made this like 90% water now. No, I put half and half, which would take that from, take it down to about 30. It's not even whiskey. 35. It's not even whiskey. Yeah, but it'll give you a chance at actually seeing what's behind all of that proof. It was water. You overdid it. And again, the barrel note's still there. The barrel note. Oh, that's still whiskey, and it does still have the barrel note. The barrel note was strong. Yeah, it's, uh, which one was it? That was the Dad's Hat cask strength. Right. I remember liking Dad's Hat. I think I like just the regular version more than the cask strength. Okay, now we're going to do the other one everybody likes to tell me about, because which is Sagamore. Cask strength is already, it's an aggressive thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, rye... Since it so commonly, regularly has this spiciness, right? To have an aggressive proof with that spiciness, it's like ah, it's rip, rip, it's kind of a bit much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now this is Sagamore. You're just trying to get through the. You're just trying to get through the videos. He's like, just drink the whiskey so I can get finished. No, 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 no. See, here's the thing. I'm a good psalm yeah. listens more than they talk. Okay. So the people are learning from me and my knowledge. Well, but no, because is that what's need... that? Am I am I the one? Giving knowledge to the people? Because when you are servicing someone at a bar or a restaurant, yeah. getting them to talk about what they like and what they found right. gives you clues into what direction you can head next. Yeah. And the more you preach at them, the more you get in the way of them finding what they like. Okay. Your own knowledge. What you prefer. No. Why you like it. It's universal. It's knowledge. not global knowledge. It's, it's, it's truth, really. <laughs> All right. Try your Sagamore. Yeah. This is Maryland. You digging that, that one? So, well, this is a nice respite. This is batch Because 15. I have been hammered by super high proofs and really spicy notes. This mm -hmm. is just really chill. Just classic. So relaxed, laid back. How do you like it compared to the there's, first one you had? There's more sweetness in here than... That you liked. So... Manhattan versus Manhattan Rye. Not the Wiggle. No, the Manhattan, which you were like, oh, that's nice. Well, yeah, compared to the Compared wiggle. to the Manhattan, which is right over there. So, better than Manhattan... Uh, if I'm in the mood to relax, mm -hmm. this is going to be a background rye for me. Okay. If I'm not going... So hold on to the one you want to keep as a final comparison. So is this the one or is that the one? You know what? I just need to... After so many whiskeys, maybe at a different different moment, I'm going to choose something else. I just need to go to Sagamore. Okay. Sagamore rye. So we're going to go with our final rye being... One of the most unique ryes I've ever tried in a category of ryes. So this is what you've chosen for me, for me based on what? I want to see what happens when you get a full left curve rye. Okay. That's not atypical of all rye flavors. I don't know what that means. But it's still a rye whiskey. It means this does not fit into the rye category as like if you love rye, you're going to love it. Right. It is a unicorn of rye. It's just its own weird freaky thing. Oh, man. The, the rich... Just the, the, is that vanilla and a rye that's like. And molasses. Caramel and yeah, the molasses. And yeah. The, I'm getting some, was it toffee? Yeah. This isn't a rye. I Just know. Shut your face. Exactly. This, isn't a rye. this is a rye whiskey. Oh. It's dark too. Look mm -hmm. at that. And it's cask strength. Oh, all right. Well. Which puts it at 62%. I mean, it's not super surprising because the nose coming out of this is. It's jumping out. Yeah. Yeah. It's leaping out of the glass. That is one of the most complex ryes yeah. I think I've ever had. Yeah. 
and it changes up moment by moment. Yep. At a certain point, I was like three quarters of the way through, a really just strong vanilla mm -hmm. in a rye. Yep. Isn't that weird? And now I got the cast strength burn right in here. Yeah. Ooh. You want to try the non cast there's, strength version of that? There's a lot of oakiness in there too. Way more oakiness. I think I was saying one of the earlier ryes had more oakiness, than, mm -hmm. oakiness than I thought it cast strength. You said this is cast strength mm -hmm. too? Okay, so I'm thinking this is what it takes to give a rye oakiness. You keep it at cast strength. Just let it on itself. Because my theory is... Well, you want to try the same? When you start proofing down a cask strength rye, the wood note is one that's going to get diminished first. Why Even don't you though... try the same one, not at cask strength? The same one. Okay, okay. From their release, not at cask strength. Then I'll let her, you know what you're drinking. Well, I just saw right now. Yeah. You're pouring me Balconis. Yeah. Okay. It's the Balconis rye. All right, and this is the non-cask strength. Yeah. Hmm. In a hundred years, if you were pouring this mm -hmm. for, I'm not gonna say everybody because there's some, you know, tasting geniuses out there, but for 99% right. of the people, you're gonna pour them this. They're not gonna land on rye. Yeah. There's like the rye, what you think of a classic rye. That spice, occasionally you get you know, the licorice, you get the, the anise, you get the, you often say, was it candy cane? Um, those notes, I'm not finding in either of these. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent rye. Too. That is, what, so what is it? Well, they about... also mixed it with some uh, crystal chocolate and roasted rye. Okay, so for, first of all, they did some rye variations. What is crystal chocolate? And These rye? are just variations of rye, right? No, no, no. But so, so, there's so they toasted it. There's different varieties of rye grass. I thought rye, there was like a rye, and that's rye. You mow the yard, and you empty out the bag, and you distill it. And... So essentially, it's, it's layers of roasting the malt before you use it in the spirit. Layers of roasting the malt. Yeah, so if you really roast it dark, you can get a chocolate malt. Okay. Or you can just lightly do it and you get a toasted malt. Okay. So right. there, there's not varieties of rye grass? There's just things that you do to the rye? Yeah. Now there are varieties of rye grass. They used Elbin rye from Northwest Texas. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to roast it to bring out all the darkest notes of the rye. Okay. Which I think they definitely succeeded Man, in. Man, it's just... Right. Yeah, dark is the word. And then they age it in Texas to get that really strong, saturated. This is only 15 months old. <laughs> Can you believe that? Look at that dark. Okay. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> this is, look, this is crazy. Okay. All right. So now you, what you <coughs> discovered is what we already knew, which is there's some rise you can... Like, nah, it's fine. Yeah. But if we find the one that's least characteristically a rye, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna pick that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, now we know something. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, yeah. may I steal all over his heart? And if you drink, <laughs> just may you drink with us. so much whiskey. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.